hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mizamanaga and i am your tutor so today we are starting a new chapter which is called bolt connection or rivet connection so i took this question from previous question papers though i don't know which year it is but it's question two and it goes like this figure one below shows a part joint connected by means of two eight millimeters the connector plates which connect to the 80 times 10 tie bars. The connection is secured with 6 M16 bolts. So there's the diagram there, figure 1. And the questions follow like this. Calculate the following. The shear stress if the force is 130 kN. The bolt thread is outside the thread. Number 2. The compressive stress if the force is 210 kilo newton number three the diameter of the bolt if the load is 160 kilo newton and the shear stress is 150 mega pascals so yeah we are going to go through that questions one by one let's get into it okay good people we have this figure right here we have two connector plates and we have two tie bars right now these two tie bars are part joint connected by these two connector plates okay so this little gap that you see here it's an indication for a part joint connection right so for question 2.1 we were asked to calculate the shear stress and we were given a force of 130 kilonewton right so for 2.1 we are having a formula that goes like this fs equal to pi d squared divided by 4 times the shear stress times number of bolts right now the next step we are going to substitute these things right here now we are given this as 130 kilonewton and we are given this as 16 and we are given this as 3 times 2. I'll come back here to explain why is it 3 times 2 instead of 6. Because all of us, we see how many bolts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this represents number of bolts. Right. So for this one, we have 130 times 10 to the power 3, which is our force that we are given. Right. Okay equal to we have pi and we have 16 squared divide by 4 times the shear stress times number of bolts which is 3 times 2 now the reason why it is 3 times 2 is because we have two tie bars and on each and every tie bar we have three bolts right so we have three bolts times how many two tie bars Right, so this 3 times 2 of bolts, we have um, bolts, we have 3 bolts on one of our tie bar and another 3 bolts on another one of our tie bar, right. So how many tie bars do we have? We have 2 tie bars and on each and every tie bar we have how many bolts? We have 3 bolts, right. We move and we are... On the next step we have 130 times 10 to the power 3 right and when you press this on your calculator you are going to get 20 or 201 comma 0619298 right you multiply that by the shear stress you multiply that when you press this obviously you're going to get 6 right now we are going to divide this side and this side by this number times six we are going to divide this side and this side by 201,0619298 times six same as the side 201,0619298 8 times 6 right 
now we are going to be left with um this cancel that this cancel that we have the shear stress s you punch this on your calculator you are going to get um 107 comma 76 um m p a because it's a stress so the um unit for stress we have mpa right now we move on to question 2.2 where we were asked to calculate the compressive stress so we are going to have 2.2 right here and for compressive stress we have a formula of f c equals to d times t um times fc with, which is the compressive stress times the number of volts right now here we are given a force of 210 right so the next step we, we are having 210 times 10 to the power 3 equals to now on the d part we have 16 and on the t part we have the thickness of the connector plate which is eight millimeters so meaning from here to here it's going to be eight millimeters this is the number of t right it's eight millimeters and we have this one the number of bolts we have this one which is three times two sorry three times two and now you are going to have on the next step you're going to have 210 times 10 to the power 3 right you press this on your calculator you are going to get 128 and the times this you press this you're going to get 6 right now you're going to divide both sides by 128 times 6 128 times 6 right this cancel that that cancel that and you have your compressive stress s how much um 273 comma 44 273 comma 44 m p a right that's how you get your compressive stress and now for 2.3 we were asked to calculate the um, the diameter, right? Now, on the diameter part, we first have to look at what kind of formula are we going to use, right? We are given we were given the the force of one sixty kilonewton, right, on two point three, and we were given a shear stress of one fifty megapascals. So, meaning we are going to use the first formula, which is this one. For shear stress because we are given a shear stress right so let me just do it like that for 2.3 we are going to have a formula of what shear stress because we are given a shear stress of how much 150 mega pascal right so we are going to have fs equal to pi d squared divided by 4 uh, multiply by shear stress multiply by number of bolts right now we need to make d the subject of the formula right before we can substitute we have to make d subject of the formula how are we going to do that okay so first thing first you are going to divide this side and this side by shear stress times number of bolts so we have this side and this side we are going to divide by shear stress times number of volts right and we are going to say this cancel that this cancel that right and we are left with um fs divide by fs times number of 
both equals to pi d squared divided by 4. Right. And now we are going to cross multiply. So we have this times that. We have this times that. Okay. And we are going to have um, no wait if we cross multiply we are going to have okay I think I'm correct I think I'm correct let's just carry on and see where this thing get us to now we cross multiply and we have um, we have pi d squared multiplied by fs multiplied by number of balls equal to we have fs multiplied by 4 right remember we are making d the subject of the formula okay so now we are going to divide this side and this side by pi is it pi i think we are going to divide that by pi let me just recheck it quickly and i'll get back to you okay guys so we are on the right track okay i wanted to make sure but we are on the right track so to continue we are going to have we are going to divide this side and this side by pi multiplied by shear stress multiplied by the number of bolts right so okay we are going to divide this side and that side by pi multiplied by shear stress multiplied by number of bolts also this side it's pi multiplied by shear stress sorry it's fs right multiplied by the number of folds okay now this will cancel that that will cancel that and that will cancel that and we are going to have d squared equal to fs times 4 divided by pi times fs times n right and we have d squared equal to now this one it's our force which is 160 kilonewton so we have 160 times 10 to the power of 3 times 4 right we divide that we have pi we have our shear stress as 150 so times 150 and we have number of bolts as 3 times 2 there we go now we are going to punch these in our calculators let's do that and when you punch that you are going to get um d squared equal to um okay seems like it's becoming blurry um let's fix that okay so we are having d squared it's equal to um two two six okay six it's six right two two six comma three five three six nine six eight okay now we are going to square no not square we are going to put a square root on both sides to remove the squared right here we have this part and that part right 
and to remove the squared here we put the square root also on the side we put a square root now this square root cancel the squared there we are going to have d equal to right you punch that on your calculator and you are going to get you are going to get 15 comma 05 right we round off to two decimal places so your answer for the diameter it's 15,05. Now we made the D part subject of the formula right here. And we have its answer as 15,05. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.